and you have to stop cussing them back out and have to begin to moan sometimes. Sometimes you have to go on and get your praise on right in the middle of the confusion. While they're cussing, you praising. And even sometimes you have to go and start speaking in tongues. Because mm. if I said what my mind want to say, things ain't going to come out all right. How many folk know that God is a mighty good God? Sometimes you have to tell yourself, mm, wasn't for the blessing of the Lord, where would I be? But right in the midst of the battle, you have to tell yourself, I serve a God that is able to do anything but fail. You have to tell yourself, it is not I, but Christ that lives inside of me. Anybody knew that God, not only can he, but he will come to your rescue. Oh my God, you have to tell yourself, I serve a God who is able to do all things. Anybody out here ever been in a tough situation and you learned the shift stuff? Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Oh God. And so, so many times, when we're in the situation, we have to learn to declare victory. Sometimes even when it don't look like you're going to win, you might be behind, but declare it anyhow. The enemy might have the upper hand against you, but go on and declare it anyhow. Uh, it, the deck might be stacked against you. But if I were you, I'd go on and declare victory. You have to tell your enemy, uh, with it not looking good, uh, but you need to know this, uh, uh, that I got the power of God on my side. Uh, anybody here know that God will uh, come see by his children? Uh, anybody here know that God will uh, uh, bless his children? Uh, uh, the Bible says uh, that you're not... Uh, flesh and blood but you're just walking in the flesh and since you're walking in the flesh you are not the fight in the flesh but you got weapons of warfare that are not carnal but I heard the word say they're mighty somebody say mighty I ain't no little God but mighty with all power you remember Jesus said he said I got all power all power in my hand and if Christ is in me then I got all power at my disposal somebody say thank you and so since you got the power you might as well get started pulling down some strongholds some of those things where the devil has gotten in are places where the devil has come strong and moving against you oh my god pull down some strongholds when the Israelites got to the promised land sitting right in the door of the promised land was a city called Jericho you're in the land but there's a stronghold and my God says got to come down uh, my God say here what you need to do I need you to walk around the city but to bring it down, first of all, they had to obey divine leadership. Here's what you need to know. If Joshua wasn't there, then the Israelites wouldn't have won the battle. Somebody had to tell them, God say, I march around the wall. Sometimes you got to encourage folk to keep going when they think ain't no reason. You got to tell them uh, it ain't over with uh, when they want to give up. Uh, you got to tell them uh, to get back in the fight uh, when they done threw in the tower. Uh, 
Oh my God, say keep walking when it don't look like it doing you no good. Walk in the high, walk in the heat, walk when you're tired, walk when the enemy are talking about you, but walk on in the power of our God. So if you're going to pull down strongholds, you got to learn how to walk in obedience. Mm -hmm. It ain't about what you think, it's about what God says. And it may not make sense, but do it anyhow. Uh, walk when it don't make sense, just because God said walk. And, 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 so, and, and not only that, but you got to get a praise while you're walking. Uh, you, you, you see, the Israelites, in order to, to pull down the stronghold, they had to walk in obedience. And then they had to praise God in the midst of their walk. It got to the point where they said they, they got the shout. Uh, uh, they, they, they blew the, the, they blew the, the trumpets, blew the uh, trumpeters, blew the horn. And when they blew the horn, the people began to shout. In other words, God said when you hear the sound of the music, uh, then you got to learn to shout. Uh, when you feel the spirit moving, uh, then you got to learn to shout. Uh, when you know God is about to do something, uh, you ought to go ahead and shout. Uh, you see, when they began to shout, uh, the walls were still standing. Uh, they were still just as tall. Uh, they were still just as thick. Uh, the enemy still uh, was in a fortified place. Uh, but how many folk know uh, that it was just a setup? Uh, Oh my God, so I'm about to bring it down that you need to go on and shout. And after they got through shouting, the walls fell down. My God said, I'm waiting on somebody to go to shouting. I know you got sickness, but shout in the hospital. I know you've been going through some things, but go on and shout. Mr. Dunning, you've been going through some stuff, but you don't mind shouting. Oh my God, sometimes it ain't comfortable, but shout anyhow. Sometimes you're on the weak side, but go on and shout. You need to raise up, gather your strength, and give God a shout out. Somebody ought to tell him, I thank you, even for my ups and my down. Sometimes you got to even thank God for your troubles, for your trials, and for your tribulation. Oh my God, the prophet said it was good. I said good that I was afflicted. Oh my God, because in my affliction, oh my God, my God, my God uh, rescued me. Uh, anybody uh, said when I was weak, uh, then my God uh, was my strength. Uh, say yeah. Woo. Come on, give God a praise in the house. Come on, give him a praise in the house. Come on, give him a praise in the house. Come on, give him a praise in the house. 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 Give him a praise. My, my, my God. Ah, my God. Ah, I heard Sister Dunning told me, said when Brother Dunning was in the hospital and God brought him back, but when the doctors had given up and didn't know we were going to make it, he told his wife, I'm going to church Sunday if I got to crawl up to that church. Oh my God. And even on that day, he was on the weak side, but he made his way back to the altar. He'd been used to coming down while the preacher preaching and giving God some praise in the sermon. But I love his heart. Say, I might be weak, but I got a job to do. I got to praise him in my weakness. Oh my God. 
You can't wait uh, till things get right uh, to where you want them to be. Uh, if you're going to declare uh, a victory in God, uh, you got to learn uh, to speak it out uh, in bad times, uh, in weak times, uh, in troubled times, uh, in problem time. Uh, you got to learn uh, to tell that devil, uh, you think you got me, uh, but my God, uh, my God. My God, my God, my God, done got in the fight. Somebody say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, come on, give him another hand all over the house. Give him a hand. All over the heart. Because you see, what I love about the Lord, when you walk in obedience, God will fight for you. Got the Israelites walking around Jericho. Elder the world would call them a fool. That they're walking around and what they're walking going to do to us. Can you see the enemy on top of the wall looking down on them, laughing at them, and the little Israelites just following what Joshua told them, marching around the wall, marching around the wall, day after day. Sometimes when you're moving, look like you ain't going nowhere, look like your stuff ain't working, you're praying, look like your prayers didn't even go through the ceiling. Uh, uh, my God uh, said you ought to declare victory uh, uh, anywhere. Uh, uh, you done got knocked down, uh, almost knocked out. Uh, but I tell you this, uh, while you're on the canvas, uh, before you get up, uh, you ought to tell yourself, uh, I'm about to get up uh, and get back uh, in this fight. Uh, and when I get up, uh, the power, uh, the power, the power, the power, the power of my God is getting up with me. I ain't getting up by myself. I'm not getting up on my own power, but I'm getting up in the power of my God. I got resurrection power, power to raid the dead. Oh my God, my God, my God, got the victory. Now let me show you something. Jesus was sort of like Muhammad Ali. Well, Muhammad Ali was sort of like Jesus. Let me switch around. All right. And so, you see, before they put him on the cross, Jesus told them, you tear the temple down in three days. Just give me three days, and I'll build it back. They didn't understand what he was saying. Say, you tear the temple down, and three days, I'm gonna build it back up. Uh, yeah, I, I know you got to do what you got to do, but when you do what you got to do, then I'm gonna do what I got to do. Uh, uh, just, just give me three days. I, I ain't gonna need a year, just three days. I ain't gonna even need a whole week, but just three days. I, I know you got six days to work, but I ain't gonna need but three of them. Just give me three days. In three days, I'm gonna build it back. And see, even on the cross, they picked at him and said, You said you could build the, te the temple back in three days. Why don't you save yourself? And no, 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 but, but I got to let y'all lay this thing down. And after I lay it down, about three days later, oh God, see, the enemy thought he had him. Uh, and then they crucified him on the cross. Somebody said he dropped his head in the locks of his shoulder and he gave up the ghost and then he died. 
Can you see Satan begin to have a party down in hell? Ha. Begin to shout, mm -hmm. thought he had him, I got him now. Ha. But my God, ha. how many folk know that sometimes ha, when the enemy think he got you, ha, he put you right where ha, uh, that God wanted you to be. Ha. The enemy shot a blow at you ha, that knock you to your knees. Ha. But my God, ha, on your knees, ha, is a good place uh, to declare victory. Uh, while you're down on your knees, uh, need to tell the devil, thank you uh, uh, for putting me on my knees. Uh, but now, God, uh, I'm going to call on your name. Uh, and when I call on your name, uh, I'm declaring uh, that the power of God uh, about to move in my life. Uh, uh, my God, uh, they knocked Jesus uh, and put him in a, in a tomb. Uh, and when they buried him, uh, thought it was all over. Uh, but somebody said, uh, about Thursday morning, uh, early, uh, come Sunday morning, uh, uh, my God, uh, with the moving uh, and stirring, uh, uh, my God, uh, got up. Uh, out of the grave, my God, got up, out of death, my God, got up, squared himself, and said, all power, all power, all power is given unto me. God says, stop giving in to the enemy and declare your victory. God said, stop looking at your circumstances and to declare your victory. God said, get over your fear and declare your victory. God said, get up and declare your victory. My, my, my God. Ah. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Come on, let's declare the, declare the victory in the house today. I don't care what you're going through. Come on, stand on your feet all over the church and declare your victory today in every situation in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Declare the victory. What a powerful message today that I know was received by the members of this church. Come on, declare the victory in every situation that's going on in your life today. I'm a living witness that pastor spoke that on the prayer call yesterday morning. He said to the pastors, declare the victory when he was praying. Come on, somebody. I have been through so much of hearing so many people close to me and close to you dying that I felt like I had a black mask over my face, felt like I couldn't find my way. But when I heard those words, declare the victory, come on somebody, I began to declare the victory over my mind. Come on somebody, you got to get things out of your mind for it get in your heart, for it mess up your health and mess up your mind. But this morning, the pastor has preached, declare the the victory of everything you're going through. Come on, somebody. Shout now before the battle is won. Shout! 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 Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hey, shout right now. Glory, victory! 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 Victory in Jesus. Come on, somebody. Shout for your loved ones. Shout for your finances. Shout for your husband. Shout for your wife. Shout for your children. Come on, shout. Woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shout. Standing in the gap for somebody else. Woo! 
Come on, put your hands together. Tell the Lord, thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, let God have his way. Come on, let God have his way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come out of besides you. Need a breakthrough. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go to that next level in kingdom building. Come on, come on. Woo! Hallelujah. Now listen. Hallelujah. Woo! There's enough anointing up in here today to save everybody that you know that's not saved. And if you're saved and know that you're saved, I want you to come and stand up here for somebody who you know need to be saved in your family, on your job. Put their name in your heart and on your lips and believe God for their salvation. And then I want you to take it another step forward. I want you to tell them you came today to stand in the gap for them. And I want you to call out their name. And then I want you to call them on the telephone and tell them even when you were not here today, I asked the Lord to save your soul, that heaven would be your home. So in the name of Jesus, once we say shout, I want you to shout out that person's name. And I want you to believe God that that person is getting saved right now. Wherever they are, don't be ashamed to shout out that person's name. Look at how many people will come to Christ if we just tell somebody, we stood in the gap for you and we're going to shout before the battle is won. We're going to take them off the streets, take them off the drugs, take them out of the prison, take them out of financial bondage, take them out of homelessness right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. So right now, when I say shout, shout out that love one day in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout. 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 Come on, whole shout to God. Oh, glory to God. Now I called out four names in my family. And I'm believing the Lord under this anointed. But you're going to witness to them and tell them what this meant. That the battle is already won. Come on, put those hands together. Now if you came for yourself, and you're looking for a church home today, come on, step forward came for yourself today you're looking for a church home come on you came for yourself today you want to make sure you're saved I'm not sure whether I'm saved or not come 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 look how many intercessors was in the house today come on put your hands together father we thank you for the intercessors today we thank you for our loved ones God that our names were called out and that we believe in you today God that you're saving our souls right now we decree and declare the message that was preached today, declare the victory, that we did declare the victory over their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand for pastor, preaching out his soul this morning. Come on, one more time, shout for pastor. Come on, give God a praise offering for the mighty word of God.
say something to the congregation. Elder mentioned about something earlier. Death is all around us. Even the folk from the funeral home are saying they have not seen it like this. And they see death all the time. But they said, and it's not just here. It's every church. It's every city. Every denomination is everywhere. And, 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 and But God says this, in the midst of it, 
we can't let it overwhelm us because that's what the enemy try to use it to overwhelm us and try to use it to pull us down but even in the midst of it everywhere you go you got families that are going through churches that are multiple one after another one it's everywhere but we have to just allow the spirit of God to lift us up in the midst of it. Now, let me share something. And sometimes when death is all around you, you have to not be you. And you have to just be God's child or God's instrument. You may say that's easy for you to say, now your mama ain't just died. But I remember when she did die. I remember she died on a Tuesday and I was pastor in Pensacola and after she died the next day I went back to Pensacola because one of the members in my church had died and on Thursday I went and did her eulogy because I began to realize if I sat here just thinking about my mama then died it just went to pulling me down and I got busy doing something for God. Yeah, it ain't bring mama back, but it helped me to get through it. And when I showed back up to the church on Wednesday, folk said, we didn't expect you to be here. I said, well, I need to get to work right now. Sometimes, just, just you need to get busy doing something for God. And while you're doing it, cry while you're doing it. But it's something about God to give you strength to keep it from overwhelming you. But that's what you can't let it do overwhelm you. You can't change it, but you can't let it overwhelm you. Because if it overwhelm you, it'll take you out too. Mm. Mm. And it's something about going to help somebody else. It helped me. When I didn't think I was going to be able to make it through my mama, because I was a mama boy, I tell you right now. Yeah. But when I got there to my mama's funeral, there was a strength in me I wasn't by myself because I got busy helping somebody else go through theirs. God helped me go through it. And so and sometimes you got to engage the power of God and say, I can't handle this thing by myself, but you are my God and you are able. And folk who are going through, call each other mm, and lift each other up.
Let your light so shine that men may see your good works and that they may glorify your God, your Father, who is in heaven. Ye that do truly and honest repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbor. You that intend to lead a new life follow the commandments of God, walking from his forth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort. Make a humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneel in your heart. Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to be real today and not just go through formality. Let us come to your table with appreciation, with repentance, with humility, and with fear of God in us. Help us not just to go through something just to say we did it, but let it mean something to us. Let this communion, God, be a transformer. And God allows us to receive something that lifts us up from the burdens, oh God, we carry in this world, from the weight, God, of what's happening all around us. God, transform us in this communion in the name of Jesus. Don't let us leave this table like Judith left mm, the last supper on our way to betray ya. But let us leave God with power. Power to overcome what the enemy keep bringing against us. Power to glorify your name. Power to walk in your spirit. Let it be real, God. In the name of Jesus, let us stand all over the house. In concert, let us release the general confession in unity. Let us release the general confession in the spirit of God. Let us release the general confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, make of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thine divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do honestly repent and are heartfully sorry for these our misdoing. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now our prayer of consecration. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, whom I have asked, tenderous mercy did give an only son, Jesus Christ, hmm, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made them by his oblation of himself. He once offered a full and a perfect and sufficient sacrifice, obligation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until 
is coming again. Hear us, O oh merciful Father. We most humbly beseech thee and grant that we receive in these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son and our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institute. In remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. Ah, and when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup. Mm. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many and for the remission of sin. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me.
house of God. Together in this spirit of unity, let us release the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, with a humble servant desire, our Father, the goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching you to grant that by the merits and death of thy son Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we and thy whole church may obtain a remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, our, ourselves, our souls, and our bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and lively sacrifice unto you. Humbly beseeching you, uh, that all we who are partakers of this holy communion that we may be filled with your grace and with your heavenly benediction and although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto you any sacrifice yet we beseech you to accept this our abundant duty in our service not weighing our merits but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost all honor and all glory be unto thee. O Father, almighty world, without end, let us say amen. Glory to God on high and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. We praise you, we bless you, and we glorify you. We give thanks unto you for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father, almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that taketh away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we have come to commune with you. And because we have, we receive of your holiness, your blessedness, and your presence. And thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tell somebody you love them and mean exactly what you say.
I declare that you have victory in Jesus. I declare victory over this ministry. I declare victory over your families. I declare victory over your marriages. I declare victory over your health. I declare victory over your finances. I declare victory over your mind. And in the name of Jesus, by the shed blood of Jesus, you have the victory. Ah. And in the name of Jesus, now unto him who's able to do all things, let all of the church say, Check, mic check, check, mic, mic, mic check, mic check, check. Check. 